Or is there a way to... No, we can't identify shit. You buy an identification spell or something, someone has to have it. Yes, 129 is probably worth it. Someone has to have it, absolutely has to. A few items already, so uh, we need to both find some place to rest. How many items do we have? Yeah, we have two already, so we'll basically save quite a quite a bit of money by having this having the identification capability early on. I just don't want Bar to have it. I can, and I will. Good for you. This should be the town shop, Galloway Trade Depot to come here anyway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to big pocket from every named character pretty much. If it really looks like nothing is coming out of it, then I'll give and give up. Phaedra, Galloway, Luman and Jamelia. I suppose I'm free to do your I guess. Emblem. Okay. The dagger. What do you need easily done? Uh, one go, please. I just wished we would steal certain things pretty much on a single successful try. So uh, it's already somewhat painful to do. So why why do we need to make it even more bothersome? What do you need easily done? Yes, certainly. Maybe we should talk to this first and then do the stealing. Uh, look, if you want to buy something, uh, you should talk to Deidre. She runs the place, I am just one of the workers. I'll speak with Deidre then. Maybe I should ask you about something. You had a special item. Targos? The coldest teat on the witch that's the north. That's what Targos is. Not even a starving wolf would latch onto it. Why are you here? I've been asking myself that every day for the past few months. I'm damn near five, ten years come this winter, and I'll be damned if I let the capstone of my life be at the end of a goblin's blade, and in Targos no less. Been serving the Callaway Coster for damn near half of my life, and all Roli comes to me, and as one of last favor, tells me to lend my back and brain to his daughter Deidre, to help her set up shop in Targos. Been watching her getting picked to shred by the Targos guards, Always showing up with the charter to confiscate this and that. They owe her a mother of gold, 
but she won't see a coin of it, mark my words. Marking words. What? Did Ulbrick send you to seize more lumber? Or take a few score weapons, perhaps? Take it all! I'm a dragon's flight past caring what happens to this damn town. Um. Actually, I came to purchase supplies. Truly? Then please look around. If anything strikes your eye, let me know and we'll come to an arrangement. Okay, masterwork arrows. Bolts. Bullets. Yeah, 40 plus 1 bullets cost 1,400. We have 600. So. I suppose I should be happy about the cake splitter. What does it do? Plus 2 damage versus constructs and <laughs> slays kegs. Oh, yeah. That's funny. Executioner's wife. Uh, plus one enchantment, great axe. We could afford this. It's a simple maze, plus one. Resistance to cold damage. Black chimes, plus one flail, probably. Yeah. For the purposes of hitting enchanted creatures, this weapon is considered a plus one weapon. 25% chance target is deafened. So, decent against spellcasters. It doesn't prevent casting, but it, uh, it, it's, uh, I think, a 50% spell failure if you get different. Returning throwing hammer. Dread Ding Claw. Plus one pole arm. Nine paces. Not a magical weapon, but has a longer reach. For the purpose of hitting enchanted creature, uh, it's considered as plus one weapon, but it's not really. The difference is it doesn't get a damage bonus, I guess. Heart of Eddie's Rahal. Cold resistance. Huh. It's not that expensive. Wandering sky. Great sword. And cast doom once. Even armor is so expensive that I can't even consider buying, buying it. So we'll have the armor we'll have. A gem bag. Okay, I'll buy that. I think we have helmets and shields for everyone. Lank of the Virgin. Dexterity bonus plus one. No armor check penalty. Hmm. We should really just sell a lot of our crap away. I'm, I'm holding on to the quarter staffs because there are blunt weapons that I have. And we already have them. Uh, it's an important thing to have a variety of different type of weapons, different damage type. Who got this deserve? Yeah, just go away. We can get closer to 1000 gold with this. That doesn't in include any magical items. Probably should buy ammunition. 
everyone has a ranged weapon. You need arrows, okay. Arrows, arrows. You don't need anything, you don't need anything, you don't need anything. So, two guys with arrows. Of course, certainly. We have a few potions. These are basically fireball type of attacks. Familiar from Boulder's Gate. This is a much smaller area of effect. Anyway, who are you? Some kind of an another worker here. <sighs> I I'm fine. Time. Five go. Moonstone gem. Looks like she has there is none uh, better than I. gems, and that's about it. It shouldn't be a problem. For what? Okay. Gold. I'd like to see if he has any items or not. One gold, yeah. Yes, Alice whenever going. my skills are needed. Whenever my skills are needed. Lumbar Grundwall. By the gods, what now? If you are here about the lumber, then you'd best brought some more hands to help you carry the shipment, because there's no way to get it from the crane to the walls without more help. I've said so enough times that you'd think it would sink in. Are you, Grunwal? Olaf sent me to check on the status of your lumber shipment. The status? I'll tell you the status. I need men to hold this lumber, and I need this crane fixed before Krail can expect to see his palisade completed. Tell him that. Oh, what's wrong with the crane? My question exactly. I can find no one supervising its use, nor anyone to see about making it work again. By the gods, my anger is fit to split me in two. Hmm. Well, I have to find someone who can help. So, someone who understands about these things. The Weeping Widow Inn. Not sure who that would be. There haven't been that many technically oriented people here. There's a couple of dwarves and a gnome. If none of them knows. Then we're shit out of luck. Sleeping dogs. Obviously a job for one as remarkable as myself. Now who might ye be to come sweeping through the doors of the widow? One of a fresh prop of cell sword from the south. Hmm. You know a priest named Colum. He said he's said to have a room here. Oh, I I know that twisted hounds uh, get. I do. 
had a room here for two nights he did, then said he couldn't bear the weeping of the spirit. So he up and left without so much as shelling out a single coin for the room. Okay, what weeping? Never you mind about that. It's got the strings of a sad bard song. And there is no cause to be weighing down your shoulders with such talk. If it has the makings of a bard song, then I'd be like to judge for myself. A woman passed away in that room long ago. She was waiting for her man to return from Dualdon, but he was lost in the storm. And the, and the poor woman hurled herself from the window upstairs to the cliffs below. Ye can still hear her weeping at night, and I've had the room warded up out of respect for her grief. As a sad tale to be sure, if there was anything I could do to help, I would. Mm, I could look into the matter. Truly. And here's the key to the room. It should get ye past the ward on the door. If ye can help set that poor woman's spirit at ease, I'd be grateful, so I would. Her weeping can be heard mostly at night, so that would probably be the best time to catch sight of her. Hmm. Ward on, ward on the door. Long story, friend. Had a priest of miracles staying here, and he scratched the thing on the door. Didn't do a lick of good, it didn't. You mean the column? Yeah. Okay. So he didn't pay you anything, are you sure? Aye, well, nothing that matters he didn't. He put some glyph on the door of the room upstairs to keep the spirit inside. But that doesn't stop her weeping now, does it? If anything, it's gotten worse since the damn thing was placed on it. Okay, what was the glyph supposed to do? Else if I know, torture me ears most like. At least it keeps people from wandering in there. My key still works though. So that's all Column did, just put the glyph on the door. I... well, no. He gave me some damnable magic potion, some concoction or another, but he wouldn't even tell me what it was. Probably that it was more than enough for the room. Truth be told, I'm too scared to open it, let alone drink it. Hmm. I see this potion. Ah, uh, here ye are. Can ye make haste or tales of it? Not sure. It does seem magical, though. If you want, we could try to identify it for you. Well, all right. If you can't figure it out, perhaps one of the priests or mages in town would know what the damn thing is. Or better yet, that the wife of Lord Ulbrecht, Althara, she'd probably know what it is. She's an enchantress, here to hell. Very well, I'll seek her out. Uh, do you know where I can find work in the town? Why, there's plenty of coin to be had spilling goblin blood. How is it you've come to Targos with steel in hand and not caught a word of the filthy little rats? Hmm. I've encountered them already. Yeah, they've been picking at Targos's walls like vultures, and it's got Lord Ulbeck worried. Goblin streets speak a bad season ahead, the saying goes, and this time no different. Hey, okay, this could be a place to rest, surely. Listening to the fire burn, the dark winter sort of makes me sleepy too. I suppose I'm free time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
One foil, I think it's a burning damage. 2v8 fire damage to a single opponent. So we have some healing course, items too now, I some area of effects uh, items that we can use to attack. Obviously a job for one as remarkable as myself. So out there three. Get locked. That's probably where we have to use the ward. There is none better than I. Seems simple enough. Obviously a job for one as remarkable as myself. Okay, I don't want to get too many things piled up on us. So I'll talk to the... Strange you ask this of me over these others? Talk to the no. wife first. See what she can tell, tell us about the potion. I can, and I will. I have a potion here from Carl Hurred, as he wishes to have identified. Ah, uh, I'm not paying you anything. We can talk to her about the potion later on, but Strange, I think you we ask this need to find others? a place no? to just rest now. One, any abandoned building would do just fine. I don't want to pay for the lodging. Fiend of the Racks. I suppose explanation, sorry no order. I thought this house had been lent out to me. It must belong to you since you have barred in without so much as a rap at the door. Okay, who are you? Ah, questions. It seems neither of us is at a loss for those, so let me begin. What possessed you to enter uninvited? If your desire was merely to trade questions, then you may depart now. Hmm, why are you dressed in rags? You have some of the trappings of a mage, but you dress like a beggar. If it will put an end to your prattling questions, then fine. I used to serve in Cormor, and now, now I do not. Where once I wore robes befitting my station, now I wear rags to mark my fall. So what happened? What happened? Why, I stood on the wrong side of the political wall, and now I find myself here, at the edge of the world, trying to scrape together enough coins to feed myself. Now that you know my shame, I would ask you to leave. But the Iron Collar Band, those mercenaries you hired, said you were from Luskin, not Cormor. Ah, that reminds me. I must place burning knives in those mercenaries' ears next time I see them. I told those fools I did not want them speaking of my previous whereabouts, and now it seems they have complicated matters for me, and for you. Yeah, I'm not sure what you're up to, but I don't like your tone, mage. The charade was growing tiresome, and I cannot bear wearing these rags another moment. I had hoped the Horde would have seized targets by now, but Timora has long since forsaken me. It seems I must make my own luck. If you're planning to attack us, 
Your luck will run out faster than you think. Is that so? I'm terribly frightened. Before you die, take comfort in the fact that I will be sparing you from dying on Targus's beautiful palisade. Oh, we don't have to try to fight. Maybe we can come to some sort of agreement. Oh, and what do you have to bother with? Nothing. No worse, hold no weight with me, dog. Suppose we could hand over Targos to you and see that your mission is completed. What you need to do is tell us what your mission was. Well, I mean, is. You dare! This was to be my mission, my hour of glory for my master, and now you suggest taking it from me. I'll kill you first and I'll find a way to sunder Targus's walls. Your master? Hashem, the beast lord, he and by default I have been commissioned to service the others as a favor, and it is the desire of these others that Targus will. Really? And who are these others that you and ha Harsha or Harsham serve? No, that is privileged information, and I think you and I have spoken long enough. I assure you, what you've learned here will not matter. All the information you have gained is useless when spoken by a corpse's mouth. Prepare to die. The best. Here what? I am. Um, um, Speak. Um, yes. Brody blit. Hey, what? You don't have any spells. Of course you don't. It's yeah, this is pretty bad. Ready. Yes, Jabuk. Ah! Oh, enough. Ah! And disrupt it. Rothy bit. I'm wounded. <laughs> he probably said something that done right. Or... You need one, as it seems simple enough. Ah, enough. Okay, that's actually some kind of specialty guy. Didn't notice it. Kill yourself. <sighs> Elendar. My finely honed and incredibly acute skills await. Seems simple enough. Dig missile and some kind of rope. Decent amount of money. By decent, I mean like 30 gold coins. <sighs> Ooh. Very all all of burning. That's a good one. So many, I guess. He traps. That was the trader. We probably should report that. Probably get some kind of a uh, reward for that. A little bit more money, about 40 gold. Yes? Strange you ask this of me over these others? No. Okay. Nah, no, just rest here. I, I really need to rest. 
Let's go to work. It will be done. I said for 16 hours. Why? Until healed, probably. Have to rest another time. Okay, ghost touch bottle. This glass is made of a glass so translucent as to be almost invisible, almost ghostly. The stopper of the flask looks as if it is uh, it has melted into the glass itself, and a misty liquid drifts within. The liquid within this bottle is nothing but water, but it appears that the bottle itself is magical. The bottle carries a ghost carries the ghost touch enchantment, which allows pieces of the ethereal plane to be held within it. What the container original original purpose was is unknown, but you have no idea what Karl Haret or you would do with such a thing. We'll talk to the wife of uh, your cat's grace potion. Okay, that's dexterity bonus. Ring of protection plus one. How can I identify all these? I have no idea. Remove, remove. Two sleep spells. We'll keep one identify for now. Hmm. Yeah, for now. In combat situations, we definitely don't want to do that. But... Anyway. Lucky Knacky. Plus one to all saving throws. What is it? It's a uh, amulet. Okay, not sure who should wear it. Someone on the front line. Ring of protection, deflection bonus plus one. Mm. I think we prefer one heavier tank over trying to spread the items all over the place. So Kosarev will be the one who's basically going to stand against every tougher melee combat. Plus deflection bonus plus two, three cold resistance. Even you could wear this. I think it's identified. We still have stuff to sell, though. Of course. Ah, um, no, we need to rest. Certainly. Change spells. I don't think the race Obviously has a any, it, the time spent there has any meaning, so even if it takes it would take days, you, as Fine. long as you can rest that's good enough. Okay. I was wondering if you could tell me what this ghost touch bottle might be used for. Perhaps. Let me take a closer look. How curious. The potion is only water, and as you noted, enchantment stems from the bottle itself. It has been touched by the spirits. Ghost touch, as it is sometimes called. Okay, what do you mean? The bottle can hold the essence of the ethereal plane inside, the substance of ghosts and spirits. Okay, what it would it be used for? In truth, 
I have no idea. It would depend on the enchanter. The bottle would have much greater worth if it held some of the ethereal plane within it. Why is that? Enchantments carried by the ethereal realm can be quite potent. A ghost such item might be made from even the smallest trace of a spirit's essence. Would the tears of a ghost serve? Why, ah, yes, it could, but... Ah, I see where your question leads. Are you thinking of the haunting of the weeping widow? I had thought about it. Can you tell me anything about the spirit that haunts the inn? Little except that Karl Haret, the innkeeper, has told me. The ghost of a woman is said to haunt the upper stories of the inn at night, waiting for her husband to return. I believe he is said to have sailed out onto the lake many years ago and never returned. Consumed by grief, the woman hurled herself from the upper story of the inn and died upon the rocks below. A sad tale. Would it be possible to obtain the tear? If you intend to coax a tear from the spirit, you will have to find some means of setting her heart to rest first. Otherwise, dealing with her may prove difficult. So went to your helper. Should you come across any more such items in your travels, bring them to me, and I will help you discern their nature. I find such art cane works fascinating. Okay. Um. When Finn caught the sight of the brimstone scroll in our possession, he attacked us. It seems he was behind the attack on the docks. Finn attacked you. So he was behind his, this betrayal then. Cargos might have fallen when the goblins attacked the docks, had you not been there to stop them. Hmm, I think the matter goes beyond Fane. He mentioned something about serving a master named Harsham, and that Harsham served someone else. Fane sounds like a link in a very long chain. This is serious indeed. It seems we shall have to be on our guard both within and without. You have my thanks and the thanks of my husband. Mm, our pleasure, though I think Fane taught us to be easy victims. Please take these as payments for your service. I feel now more than ever as long as you stand in Targus's defense, the goblin shall be turned back and the town saved. We'll do what we can. Gold necklace. Well, 500 gold. Mm-hmm. Filling some extra crap away. Um, I'm selling the dagger simply because they're daggers. Masterwork part there is quite interesting. A dagger does so little damage, I I'm not a fan of them. Even if you're really good at that, you're still doing damage that Seems basically most weapons can do normally anyway. So, seems like a waste. Only buildings still left. Maybe a couple of here. Actually, one. I have to wait until nightfall to... I, I, I want to talk to the girls to see what the hell is going on with her. One step at a time. Whenever my skills are needed. Ooh. 
Hmm. Yes, yes. Behind the fireplace. Ah, but silent. It seems the living have come. So who are you? What are these bodies doing here? This row of vessels here, mayhaps, lined up like ships. They have passed on, yes. They have sailed through this life and into the keeping of the old lord's skull. <laughs> but their spirits echo still. Hmm. What happened to these people? Lord Skull, I think, is a miracle. When the goblins struck, they brought the first of many deaths. That uh, these that lie here are but finger bones of the skeleton of the battle. Now of the two halves, Targos and the Horde, neither was spared, and in death the halves have become whole. Faint whispers like gusts of wind. Hmm, yes, but your battles are over now, soldier of Targos. I know there's nothing to be done. Now rest. Okay, did that corp just... More strange voices. Silent spirit, the living walk among us. And to you, dead one, I may speak at any time, yes. Okay, are you talking to that corpse? No, listening perhaps. There's no novelty in such things, if that thought is on your mind. The speech of the dead is wearisome. They ask, demand, call, scream for attention. They rattle on like children. Uh, angry hissing. And this coupling here, it still lives out its last moment, yes? A frightened, gibbering thing, howling at the moment of its death. So, what are you doing here? One who can speak to the dead has value on the battlefield of battle. This goblin here, it was Ulbrich's wish that I speak to him and learn what secrets he holds in his head. But that is not all, no. The dead are in need of proper burial, and such rites are best performed by the priests of death. The priests of tempests have no skill in such matters. They praise the fallen in the name of battle, but such things do not let the spirits rest quietly, no. Is that why you came to Targos? I travel where death does. I shadow my lord's footsteps. He has touched Targos, and soon, I think. Yes, very soon, he will walk amongst the living of Targos. The wind smells of such things. I came with brothers, the iron collar mercenaries, my brothers. We have come some distance, but that is not why I have come. No. In the days to come, all of Targos will serve Miracle. All of them worship Miracle, whether they know it or not, and all of them shall come before him. We are not miracle worshippers. By word, perhaps not. By obeisance, perhaps not. But by your deeds to come, I think yes, you will be. Especially if I judge that those weapons you carry are intended to shed blood in the battles to come. If you have ever caused the death of another, you dwell in miracle shadow. Even in dying, you serve Miracle and strengthen his kingdom. Thus, his worshippers and followers are everywhere. Hmm. Yeah, the Iron Collar Mercenary Band said you were staying at the Weaving Widow. Why are you here? I had a room at the inn, I did. There are spirits there that will not be silenced, no, and I am in need of rest. A little bit more. I heard a spirit weeping in the inn, yes, in the room with the window, the window that was broken long ago. If I had a poetical bent, uh, when night falls, she rises like a 
like the tide, and the tears flow from her wounded heart. But because I detest poetry, I will simply say that ghosts, more so than other spirits, are a tiresome bunch. They tend to dwell on things, yes, and howl on about it like dogs outside your window when you're trying to sleep. So did I leave the inn? Yes, of course, for I could not remain. So why does she weep? Could we speak to her? How is it that you have lived yet know nothing of learning a woman's secret? If you would know her heart, then go to her at night. Yes, night time is best, I think. Um. Why does she weep? Who knows? And if there is no gold to be had in knowing, why should one care? Heed me. Go sob and carry on about omens and portents, but in truth, they're only clamoring for attention so someone will respect their grief. Yes, death does little for their manners or their etiquette. Hmm. Can you tell us about the potion you gave to Carl Hyred? It is not for me to say. I will only say that it is more than enough to pay for my room stay. Yes. Yes, this ghost touched bottle is quite valuable. Yes. Yes, it. Uh, what? What is it you said of the bottle? A ghost touch. I mean, the water inside the bottle is useless, but the real enchantment is in the bottle itself. Carl Heret didn't know what he had at first. The bottle is ghost touch, but... Mm. Yeah, it surprised me as well. For a moment I thought you had tried to dupe the innkeeper by paying him with a flask of water. But a ghost touch bottle is something in else entirely. I imagine it's worth quite a bit of gold, isn't it? Mm, yes, quite useful such a thing. <laughs> it seems I was so very generous in my gift. The innkeeper may keep it with my good graces. Yeah, we gained experience from realizing that. Yeah, what can the bottle be used for? Take it to the spirit in the weeping widow if she remains. Put one of her tears inside, and you may use it in enchantments. Ask Albrecht's wife, the elven woman enchantress. She knows of such things. Your wishes? Wishes. Simple. Okay. Do you have anything of value? Crap. What do you need time? As in pickpocket failing crap. For what do you need easily done? Full of coins. For what do you need time? And steel. Yes, I can, and I will. Hmm, I rest here. Okay. Um, you told me why the soldier and goblins are here, but why is this town person here? Hmm? The man, the townsman? Yes, well, this is his home it is. I thought he should be returned here. Set him at peace. Okay. Have you talked to him? Is he at peace? Hmm. Uh, yes. Because it occurred to me, considering your shady past in Cormor, you might have brought this body back here so you could question it about where it stashed to its possessions. Uh, but what use would he have for such possessions if I were to ask him of such things? The dead cannot benefit from such things. 
Your mind is sharp, yes. I ask him of such things. Behind the fireplace, he said, in a narrow crack in the wall, that is where his gold lies sleeping. Take it. It is yours. You shall say no more of it. Okay, perhaps you better tell what else you've learned from the dead here in Targos, and then I won't say anything to Albrecht about your grave robbery. <clears throat> As payment for your silence, yes. One of the dead spoke of a treasure buried beneath a floorboard of one of the ruined buildings in Targos. I know not which one. I think we've already found that. Uh, can you talk to the goblin? Hmm. Traveled here with the Iron Core Mercenary and Yeah, they made mention that you were a grave robber. No, there is no thievery when the dead give permission. Permission. Be silent. Yes, permission to relieve them of their funeral trappings. What use have the dead for trinkets and baubles? Where is the harm in that? Are you really a priest of miracle? Okay, I, I, I don't want to pressure him. I certainly don't, don't want to fight him or anything. Strange, you ask this of me over these others? It's hour no. 19. We'll go here, take a rest, talk to the woman, and see where that goes. I'd like to fairly soon get these minor things wrapped in the city. They're not bad, though. Not bad at all. Whenever my skills are needed. Whenever my skills are needed. I don't think they make much of a dent in our experience points amount or our gold reserves though. That said, we can probably go north Strange. to 2000 experience these points. Others? No? So they might make a difference Seems in the sense enough. that they allow us to reach certain levels a little bit faster and at the early stage it does matter. Dunaman Why are you weeping? Sorrow consumes me. My tears are for my lost husband, who promised once to return, yet I wait still. Hmm. We need to get more out of her. In life, Vera was the name I bore. Such empty names mean nothing now. It carried worth only upon my husband's lips. Shit. Well, at least we got a little bit of information out of her. Certainly. Maybe we could ask for more. Okay, waiting for her husband. Do you know who that might be? A fisherman named Donovan, I think. A little thick in the skull, but a solid enough fellow. Big, big hearted. Spent most of his nights down at the salty dock. He lost himself in a storm on Mare Dolden. Drowned himself, most like. Okay. So his body never turned up. Well, no, not that I heard. Most reckoning he's drowned. He probably had one too many tankers, and with the rough weather on the lake during the storm, well, you can guess what happened. 
what about his ship? Well, there's bricks scattered across the bed of Meridualden, and pieces of them wash up now and again. If he knew the name of the ship, mayhaps the piece turned up somewhere. Who would know that? Go hard a bar, keep down as the salty dog would most like know the name. He has enough pieces of ships hanging from the rafers of the dock, he does. Okay. It's probably very important information. By the way, have I, I stolen something I'm from you? Easily done. Of course, certainly. Ah, yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. Please succeed in the hiding. Easily done. Or gold. Yeah, looks like gems. Yes, obviously a job for one as remarkable as myself. Obviously a job for one as remarkable as myself. Yes, yes, yes. Looks like we have a lot of little things to do at the harbor. Basically, talk to a few people. Try to find. Obviously, a job for one as remarkable as myself. Doers for certain other jobs. I'll talk to the woman, woman first that asks us to come around later. You said you were a shipbuilder. Aye, why? That's a pricey. Well, yes. Wood and challenging the shape as iron or stone or even ice. If those legends about that fool Tiernan are true. I have no recollection of what these houses are. I might want to have to even report to the... Uh, in the palisade to report what's wrong with the... Minecraft bats. Whenever my skills are needed. With the winch and the wood, as before we get our tip, who do we need to talk to about fixing it? Okay. More uh, questions. Can you tell me any about Targos? There's a hundred stories in Targos there is. Maybe a hundred upon hundred. What would you be burning to know? I'm not the strength to tell them all. Um. Goblin Raiders. The filthy little rat started chipping at Targus's a month or two ago, and the attack on docks is the bravest they've been yet it is. But there's worse yet to come, much worse, mark me words. I can feel a storm coming, and it's building up out of the north like a howling pack of wolves. Do you know that? I well, just a feeling in me bones. I've learned to trust the lean of the wind and the egg of my joints. That's awfully specific information to be a hunch, especially if you don't leave your house much or speak to many people in town. Ah, 
I don't need to explain myself to the likes of ye. Believe me or not, it's no matter to me. How do you know? How do you know those things? Yep, there's times, nay. You think me daft like the rest of the town. No, I'd like to hear it. Mayhap I see things. What business it be of yours? What do you see? There's times when I sleep, but when I sleep not, and the things I see in dreams, they're more real than the walls of me house. Some things, some are beautiful, others terrible. I, I see, I've seen a brambled garden, blacker than ink. A crowd's nest of a city that spins atop a great mast of stone, and a glacier of black ice, ice that smells of ashes and smoke. That's not the strangest things. I see these things, but it's not me who's seen them. It's always enough on the, through another's eyes, a woman's eyes, I see these, these other lives, all a colored gray and sadness branching outwards. Like some great black twisted tree. Hmm. A tree. In Loskin I heard tales of a great tree in the town of Kaldahar. Aye, the grey dog of Kaldahar. I know of that tree, I do. And it sure as the snows it's mixed up in this darkening cloud over the north. There is something about such a work of nature that no beast or devil can leave be. And great evils have been done in its shadow. Mayhap ye'll find your way there, mayhap not. But know that the is waiting for ye. the tree is. Yeah, sorry about that. Mayhap ye'll find your way there, mayhap not. But know the tree is waiting for ye, and it suffers. The screams of a birthing woman echo in the wood of the oak, and I fear some terrible act has taken place there, either now or long ago. Okay. I see, but I have no current plans to go to Goldar. Aye, Targus waits, but enough of the ramblings of an old woman. Have ye any more questions? Husband Dale. Tales of the Dale. <laughs> There's so many tales that I'd will up to Alden there is, and most like twice over. Not much of that would whet your appetite, methinks. I heard the Dale had some troubles many years back. Do you know anything about that? There was the troubles many years back, though. Back when Hedron was a babe and his da, curse his hide, still dared to live. Hm. That was perhaps the worst of times we've had. Or it could be it was just Hedron's da that was the cause of it all. Anything you can tell me about that? I, I'll tell ye. But I'll only tell ye once, so ye'd best listen close, or else get yer pen and write it in a book ye're carrying with ye. Now I'll copy your story in a journal then. I think it's uh, basically a story of Never Winter, I mean, uh, <laughs> Icewind Dale 1. Okay. But this isn't why we came here. Well, it's partially. Ooh, we can return the cat body, perhaps. Are you missing a cat? We heard of one of your cats had gone missing. Aye, poor Loki went there. Uh, his way not long ago. Probably curl up somewhere to die, poor old thing. Um. 
probably should tell what happened then. Probably would make her mad, and she has some power, so... Yeah, we'll just let it... Strange you ask this of me over these others? No? No, not really. So this should be the last thing we have to do here. Whenever my skills are needed. Okay, do you know anything about a fisherman named uh, Donovan? Carl Harrit told me he used to drink here. Oh, old Carl Harrit said that. He, I, I remember Donovan. He died years ago, lost on Mayor Dualden. So you'll have no luck finding him now. How do you know he's dead? Found his skiff washed up on a shore is all I know. Found it a few winters ago, poor Danaban. Good fellow, but could end all his ale, and he was too sharp wasn't too sharp either. Do you have a piece of his bow? Well I I have it uh, laying around here, about as pickled as Donovan himself. If he wants it, it's yours. It's the least I can do after ye drove those ferrati goblin pastors off the docks. I appreciate it. Here ye are. Vera's gaze, right there on the prow. Name of his poor wife, I think. Her she passed away from grief, so the tale goes. Okay. We could go for a drinking contest with that bastard. Not sure we could have a chance of winning. We have an 18 constitution. I'm not sure that's enough. I suppose I'm free. I'll see what I can do. For what do you need me now? Time. For what do you need me? I guess. You go. Give me a break. Maybe I should try the con competition first. For what do you need me now? It shouldn't be a problem. Wolf charm. Okay, that was the thing he would have bargained with. Summon wolf times three. After that, it'll disintegrate, so that's not all that useful. Probably would be better off just selling it off. I suppose I'm free to do your dirty work. That's <laughs> getting more gold. Flask of rare, a rag. Yeah, we need to get that too. Huh, totally forgot about that. I am your simple. Yeah, what about you, losers? Bit of cash. Nothing to steal. Well, these are pretty poor guys. More gold. Seems like they have basically pennies. Well, 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 a potion block. 
which does something, I suppose. Ah, uh, no idea. Luck spell, I, I know, but... What does it do? I recall having it in Baldur's Gate 2, but I also recall never using it. So... Yes, I can, and I will. Seems simple enough. Seems simple enough indeed. So what it seems like we'll... In order to get the whatever fix, we'll have to go to the Palisade and talk to the guy who gave us the job in the first place. Or do we... There are a few other people here. Just taking a quick look to see if they're still here and we can talk to them. No. Now well, let's just get the hell out of here. We can complete the ghost thing and we can deliver the disgusting drink to the diviner. Uh, naturally, after we pickpocket him, maybe we should try to pickpocket the ghost too. Obviously, a job for one as remarkable as myself. Can't really say that the loot has been good, but uh, it's worth some coin. We got our first proper magical item out of it: the protection ring. Obviously, a job for one as remarkable as myself. Whenever my skills are needed. So many jobs. Easily done. Of course. Strange you there is none but I can and I will. Okay. I found a piece of Donovan's ship, Vera. I hope that knowledge of his fate will may bring you peace. Thou death has returned to death. A husband's promise at last fulfilled. His fate shall anchor mine no longer. Now yeah, you can rest now. First, that debt must be settled. As you return my husband to me, I will return a boon in kind. From my lips, a warning to you. The sign of the Chimera comes to Targos. It will devour you if you do not take action. If you fail in your quest, many shall perish. The dead of Targo shall outnumber the living, and this city shall become but a memory. For my sake, for the sake of my husband, protect Targos from what comes, or more widows' tears shall be shed. Very well. Long have I waited for my husband's return. I shall help you by keeping watch here, until such time as I can pay my debt in full. Okay, perhaps you can help me now. Could you shed one last tear for me? I have an enchanted vial to hold it in. If my sorrow shall aid you, so be it. It is a small matter to allow my grief to coax one last tear from me. It is done. For now, farewell. For now? We shall meet again, in a kingdom far from this one. I shall not forget what you have done for me. Okay. The best seems simple enough. Okay, we should be able to make an enchanted item out of that. God's sake. 
I can, and I will. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Whenever my skills are needed. Hmm. Wonder if I could just hold it. No. Crane. Let's look at the crane, shall we? Maybe that's the thing. No. Do one of you in this shop know what to do with it? Obviously, a job for one as remarkable as myself. Uh, probably doesn't know anything about it. Okay. Uh, it looks like we'll have to return to the palisade. Seems uh, simple enough. On the positive side, the minor quests are now over. So there's like maybe three or four minor quests to help with the bolster defenses, and then things just start happening. And not a moment too Certainly. soon. I have obtained a tear from the ghost that haunts the Weeping Widow, and were wondering if you could make use of it. So, you were able to set the spirit to rest then? This is welcome news indeed. It would be my pleasure to help you. May I see the tear you have brought? What can be made of it? Indeed, it depends on what you wish to do with it. If you want to part with it, I can offer you 500 gold for it, or if you wish, I may use it to enchant a small blade for you, a dagger perhaps. A dagger would carry some of the magic of the ethereal plane, and some of the essence of the spirit as well. There is some unpredictability in such matters. Mm. 500 gold is nothing. Um, yeah, a magic weapon could prove useful. Maybe a target that can all be affected by magic, so I'll take that. Here you are. Thank you, and thank you for freeing that poor woman's spirit. She must have been suffering greatly. Sorrow's here. Okay, plus two versus spectral undead. Plus one two enchantments, so five percent chance and additional one point of magic damage when user when you use target safety card. How can you use it? Good neutral blah blah blah. Okay. So we'll give it yeah, you can't use it. It has to be good or a neutral. So basically you Need something to I can and I will. Yeah, final task. Feed the obviously a job for one as remarkable. Bore the large ring to one of the one of the wounded. Ooh. Pittle Bender, would you know how to fix the crane? Ah, welcome back. Something I can help you with? A potion to put some colour in your ch No, um, I have no idea who I should talk to about this. Maybe the guy who gave us the job Fine. in the first place. Yeah. Your you. wishes? 
simple. Come on, come on. Crap. For what do you need me now? I guess. Okay. Valin scroll. Thank the gods, your bad numbers are lost in cut purse. I see you doubt this note was intended for your band. Do not. I divined that you would sail in on the wicked winch and would make your way here to the pavilion, and one of your number would search my pockets while I lay here. Okay, this is actually for me. In a short while, I shall attempt to use the site to determine the location of the goblin fortress. And I'm writing this note out of fear that obtaining a vision of such a place may tax my spirit greatly, preventing me from returning to the waking world. I have not told the Lady El Elithara of my attempt at divination, for she would surely stop me, and if any others were to know of my intentions, they might seek to poison me, for I fear there are traitors within the town that even now turn their eyes to my destruction. For now, my safety and Targus's safety lies in silence. If you are reading this and I still breathe, then it is not too late to awaken me. Now that you have found this scroll, I need you to find a flask or break, which you can purchase from the river trader named Guthewulfe in the Salty Dog Tavern. He should have brought some weapons and other supplies from Shangarn, but among his inventory will be a flask or breaker. Which you may purchase. Something about picking Guthewulf's pockets as you did mine. Looks like it was scrawled here, but it looks like Valen had second thoughts and scratched it out. So, another item we could have stolen from there. Bring it to me and place a single drop on my tongue, and with a, within a few minutes I should awaken from my stupor. Please make haste. I will reward you for your efforts, of course, and even cast your fortunes should you desire it. The reward and my castings will not be forthcoming until I regain consciousness, however. Okay, that's a, an interesting thing. So that's just a sip. <laughs> Get that swill away from me! Ugh. Ugh. I feel like someone poured lava in my guts. Yeah, we found this note on yours, Valen, and it told us what to do. We were able to get some breaker and help you. Thank the gods for thieves and empty purses then. Give me that damn scroll. I want to tear it up for even thinking of suggesting such a foul cure. Ugh. So here's the scroll. What happened? The last thing I remember was preparing myself to divine the location of the Goblin encampment, and then, then there was this pain, followed by a storm of visions, and then I awoke. Where did you find out where the goblins are striking from? No, whatever the encamp, wherever the encampment is, somehow or something is watching over it, and uh, that such as mine can. Sites such as mine can't focus on it. Okay, this is a this is a odd sentence because the site is uh, is written like it's a name or something. As soon as I set my mind adrift to seek it out, it felt as if a thousand spear spears were being stabbed into my head. Some sort of scrying defense, but one more powerful than I've ever encountered. I did not think that goblin shamans could weave such magics. Looks like we'll have to seek out the fortress ourselves then. No, I think the fortress will seek you out if the visions are true. I see a woman. She will show you the way, but her face is clouded and her mind is distracted by thoughts of another, a friend or lover perhaps. She will come in time, and we must hold Targus until then. Okay, anything else? Yes, there is one vision I must share with you, a warning. I saw you traveling upon a ship that flew upon the winds. 
If this vision comes to pass, make sure you are well equipped for a long journey, for you will not be able to return to Targos until your matters here in the north have been settled. So, that idiot Oswald is going to crash his airship again, isn't he? Perhaps. If it is, know that you must not speak to him of it. There is a strange power in his ignorance, and I see that same ignorance being your salvation. Your note mentioned something about a reward when you were rescued. Ah, yes. I felt some gold might spare your efforts. I must confess that I did not bring much with me to Targos, which is much of a reason I came to Targos. Ah, fine. Fine, fine. Keep your goddamn gold. Yes? Strange you ask uh, this of me over these others? Yeah. No? And I think it's time for us to end. As far as I can see, there are no more minor duties fine. for us to perform anymore. So. Now, only remains is to. Jobs for our little commander. Strengthening the defenses of the city. In preparations for their attack. And that's certainly what I'm willing to focus on. I, I, I want some action at this point. This is taking lo way too long. At least in Baldur's Gate 2. While the uh, initial state is long, it's mostly exploration and fighting. Fun. Here it's just running about doing shitty things. Can't complain about the, the wards though. We're about 1000 experience points closer to the next level up and I think that might make a big difference. <sighs> Definitely want to get the actual fighting started though. 